Let's take a look at finding sales tax. If we're going to find sales tax, basically it's going to be a simple multiplication operation, but the first thing we need to do is convert the percent into a decimal. Now, to convert a percent into a decimal, remember all we have to do is move the decimal two places to the left. So if we're going to convert a percent into a decimal, We simply move the decimal point two to the left. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one. We have a purchase of $125.73. Sales tax is 6.5%. We want to know the price that we're going to have to pay. So what we do is we go ahead and we multiply. 125.73 by the percent as a decimal. Now we have to change the 6.5 percent into a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So we get 0 .065 is our decimal. We go ahead and multiply those two things. Grab our calculator. 125.73 times 0 .065 gives us 8.17245 Now, when we're working with money, we generally we pretty much always just use two decimal places. So we're going to want to round this off here to this spot, the second decimal place, the hundredths position. We look at the next number to the right, that's a two, so that's less than five. So we're just going to drop this part of the number off and we get 8.17 or $8.17. Now that's the amount of sales tax that we're going to pay. So to get the total bill, we need to take this and add it to the price of our purchase. So we would add 125.73 plus $8.17 and that will give us 125.73 plus 8.17 gives us 133 dollars and ninety cents now that's the two-step way of doing this we can also do this in one step if we take a look at what we're doing here we multiplied the original price by the percent and then we added that amount to the original price well the original price is a hundred percent so a hundred percent as a decimal is just one so rather than multiplying by 0 .065, if we just went ahead, I'm going to change colors here to show this is different. If we just went ahead and multiplied by, rather than 0 .065, if we would multiply by 1.065, basically we're taking the addition, that 1, that's 100%, that's where that 1 comes from, and we're multiplying those, I'm telling you, I'm guessing that we're going to get this same amount. Let's see that that happens. 125.73 times 1.065 and sure enough we get the same answer. So you can do it in the two-step method or the one-step method whichever you like. Sometimes it's nice to see the exact amount of tax that you're getting paid but if you just want to get right to the total you can multiply by 1.065 to get that 100% included in there. I like that method better, so let's take a look at this next one and do that. We have $52.84. We're going to multiply that by the percent plus the 100. So we go one point. We got to change this to a decimal, two spots to the left. 1.0775. We go ahead and multiply that. 
times 1.0775 gives us 56 five six nine three five one okay again we need to round to two decimal places so if we look here this is the second decimal place look to the right that's a five so this has got to go up so we're gonna end up with fifty six dollars and ninety four cents that would be the price we would pay for a purchase of fifty two eighty four with a seven and three quarters percent sales tax let's take a look at another one here we've got a larger purchase this time five thousand thirty six dollars six hundred thirty six dollars and thirty four cents and there's a sales tax of seven percent change that to a decimal two spots one two so we're going to multiply by remember we'll take that one hundred percent so one point zero seven multiply those two Move the calculator over here. So we have five six three six point three four times one point zero seven gives us six thousand six thousand thirty dollars and eight eight whoa. Thirty-eight. A little distracted there. Okay, then we look two decimal places. This is a three, so we're going to drop that off. So our answer is going to be six thousand thirty dollars and eighty-eight cents. Quite a bit of tax at seven percent when we get those big amounts. Let's take a look at this last one again same deal take our amount and we're gonna multiply it by one for that hundred percent change the 7.5 to a decimal two spots to the left so it'd be 1.075 we go ahead and multiply we have 498.25 times 1.075 which gives us 535 I think I got that right okay then we need to round to two decimal places right here we look okay that's an 8 that means this 1 is gonna have to become a 2 and we have 535 dollars and 62 cents okay so quickly to recap to find the sales tax we simply multiply the purchase price by the percent as a decimal plus one for that amount that we would add back in that's the one step way if we want to do it in two steps that works just fine too we multiply that by the percent of the decimal and then we add that amount to the original the original cost Hopefully that helps. Good luck.